So if you recall, in the previous video, we had this issue here, where when we play our fire animation, it jumps forward and away from our cans. It jumps forward and away from our hands the exact amount from this origin point here to the center of the world. So Blender uses the center of the world as its kind of its origin point. So the root is kind of offset by that. So what we're going to do here is we have our animation still. We're going to take our armature here. I'm going to rename this from P Skeleton to Armature with a capital A, even though I said not to do this initially, but I, that was my mistake. And if we look at the, uh, the bone hierarchy, pretty much it was starting the root bone that I had set to was called P Skeleton instead of root. So now that we name it Armature, it's going to use the root bone as its root, essentially. So I'm going to delete the animations. Let me just undo all that in the blueprint real quick. Kind of delete the animations as well as the mesh. Come on. There we go. Now we don't have any weapon. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and try to export this as is. So I can get rid of test fire. I'm going to replace the 1911 pistol, and I'm not going to bake the animation in it. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. Just uncheck bake animation, and I can export. Now when I want to import the pistol. Just import it like normal. Go to the skeleton. Click root. You can see the root bone's down here, but the center is supposed to be up here, so it's got that offset. That's what we have to actually fix. So I'm going to redelete all these. Select the armature in Blender and move it to the center. There we go. Now I'm going to export the weapon. This will have our new armature well layout as well as it'll be centered in the world where we want. So now if we view the skeleton, root is right there in the center. So now let's test with an animation. So I'm going to control Z, back out, back to the action editor, make sure 1911 fire is active, which it is. And we'll try to export this. Recheck bake animation and export. Like the skeleton, import. You can see the transform was different. But the root's showing the center, so we might actually be good to go. So let's rebuild our weapon blueprint. Selecting the mesh and the animation. And now you can see we actually have it working properly. So the pistol is playing the animation and it's in the dead center of our hand. It's not moving, jumping around, not jumping forward. We're good to go. So now that that's fixed, 
I want to end it here, and we'll start on the next video where we play, we create an animation montage for our player's recoil. So that's going to be our arm and wrist moving back. Also, a quick little tip. As you noticed, when I play this animation, the hands no longer move. So that's because I have nothing active. So if I want them to move, I just go to ADS Fire. You can see how it all works together, even if I select the pistol armature. So if you just select whatever armature you don't want to move and press a little unlink, it does that and vice versa. So just a quick little tip that might be helpful because I recommend exporting only like only without the armature selected. I mean the hands moving so that way it only it doesn't jump back around or anything like that when it goes to bake the animation. Because I've had issues where I go to bake the animation. Well, it tries to, but when it plays the animation, what it does is it makes the pistol jump back and up out of the hands because it's moving in the world. So that's just a random note. But I'll see you in the next one when we actually set up our animation montage.